Well, this is scary. Three, two, one. Hands free. Amazing. Now, stabilize and track my face. Okay. Good morning, guys. Today, I'm going to be showing you the vlogging camera setup of the future. I'm currently at the point in Greenwich and I gotta tell you how amazing it is to actually be able to vlog and still have both hands able to uh, use a camera because this is what I actually like doing best. And out of the two Skyland spots in Greenwich, uh, this is pretty much my favorite one. I love coming here and taking photos. And you guys know London is a smart city. Just like nowadays, cameras tend to be smart. Uh, we can dial in here a flat picture profile, just like, like Cine D or a S-Log option in a camera. Um, there is also the uh, sunny white balance option, but it's hidden so deep within the menus, you rarely actually get to find it. This is a really lovely place. I absolutely love this composition. You've got these two benches there and a skyline of London, and this makes for such a beautiful composition of people enjoying watching the skyline. I, I love coming here. So yeah, coming back to the vlogging camera setup of the future. Well, the future, I think it's hands-free. It's a camera that's floating in the air that tracks your face and uh, you're able to use your hands to do whatever you actually want. And no, this really isn't the perfect vlogging camera of the future. It's a catchy tagline, but this camera probably is the closest you can actually get to the vlogging perfect camera of the future. So basically what it is, I've currently got the Insta360 One attached to a uh, third person view uh, pole that's, uh, that you can't see basically because the 360 camera has got a, a gyro stabilization so it's always keeping the horizon while it's not seeing where it's attached to because it's like on a monopod, hence you don't get to see the monopod. So it's not a drone in front of you, it's reasonably safe. I've got a something long sticking out in front of me, but you can go with this in public. I can take the camera and shoot and do whatever I want. And it can do all sort of cool tricks, like just, just follows you wherever you turn. So it's pretty cool. Will I be taking it everywhere with me and always? Most likely not. But for certain special projects where I want to film myself shooting, this is perfect. This is absolutely amazing. I'm not expecting the voice audio recording from the camera to be particularly good. So I'm recording myself on a lavalier mic on a external audio recorder, and then I will just sync the sound. But I will compare what it's like actually uh, when you hear me talking to the camera. And now when I switch to the lavalier mic. Is that any better? Yeah, I think the lavalier mic's better. Oh yeah, and did you see all these pretty colourful houses here? This is Greenwich, a really undervalued area in London. Not many tourists come here, but it's beautiful. Well, not exactly on today's uh, cinema profile picture look day, but overall it's pretty nice in here. So if you'd like me to do a tutorial on how I've set this up, uh, please subscribe, like this video and let me know in the comments and I might do it as my next video. See you later guys.